the dessert of the gods. All I know is it's one of my all-time favorites. Baklava is what's on the menu today. Hi, Michelle here. Welcome back to the Traveling Epicurean. I'm here with my dear friend, Maria. Hello, everybody. Hi, Maria. Hi, Michelle. Um, and after a little bit of convincing and probably a lot of begging, <laughs> um, we've got Maria to share with us her wonderful baklava recipe. I am so excited about this. Very excited to be here with you, Michelle. Oh, wow. Well, this is a great dessert for parties, for holidays. You guys make it for the holidays? Yes, I make it every Christmas, and it's really simple. It looks like it's a complicated um, dessert to make, but it's you'll see it's very simple and easy to do. Very few ingredients. It's absolutely delicious. It is. All right, so why don't we show everybody what we're going to need to get this going. Okay, Maria, so you have two sets of ingredients here, right? One for the syrup and one for the baklava? Right. Um, for the syrup, we're going to need one cup of honey. I like to use Greek honey, but of course you can use um, any honey that you can find. Okay. Um, one cinnamon stick. Okay. We're going to um, squeeze half a lemon. Ooh, I like that. And you're going to also take a portion of the lemon peel and you're going to put it in the like syrup. Zest it a little bit? Um, nope, we're going to actually take a sliver oh, of the lemon. The, of yeah. the peel, And nice. the lemon just pretty much helps the um, okay, adds a the syrup acidity. from crystallizing oh. and a cup of sugar okay, okay. and of course uh, we're gonna need one cup of water and then you're gonna get that into the pot and get that all simmering yes we're going to do this first we're okay. gonna get it simmering and then we can start in on our baklava fantastic okay so what are the ingredients for the baklava for the baklava we have one pound of walnuts okay. ground okay you just need to put them in your food processor okay so and then you pulse it you just pulse, to get it the, yeah just to get it like you this it. that's yeah. beautiful and then we have one box of phyllo dough okay we're going to need one teaspoon of cinnamon okay and a dash of clove depending okay. on your taste you can put more if you like okay, okay. sure and is that a 13 by 9 13 by 9 um, casserole dish okay, very good oh i'm so excited and of course a butter a pound and a half of butter for the phyllo dough okay yeah that's okay. really important right yes it is okay <laughs> all right so let's start with that syrup okay so we'll have we'll take a pot here add our water our honey one cup of sugar and I feel like the lemon kind of balances uh, you know balances a, little, out a little yeah bit. some people because like to so sweet orange Okay, and then you just put a, a cinnamon, cinnamon stick in there. stick for the flavor. Okay, we're gonna... Okay. And then I'm gonna cut some of this peel here. Right. So you're juicing half a lemon then? Half a lemon. Half a lemon, okay. Okay, and then we're gonna put it... Okay, so Marie, do you have this on a high heat or like a medium high? I'd say medium high for okay. about 10 minutes Fantastic. until it starts to bubble. And then you'll see that it starts thickening up, thickening up a little bit. Okay, and then all that sugar is going to melt as well. Oh, yes, the sugar, the honey, everything. Oh, that will become a delicious uh, golden brown syrup. That's absolutely beautiful. Okay. okay, so we'll start making the baklava. And so what are you here, adding? I'm going to gonna add one teaspoon of cinnamon, of cinnamon okay. in our walnuts. Okay. And just a hint of cloves. And then a hint of cloves. And now cloves are a little bit floral because they're actually um, a they pink flower bud. Oh, really? From the evergreen that. clove tree. Really? <laughs> <laughs> just just like, like the paper day. bud. I know, right? But it's also yeah. medicinal. Is it? Yeah. yeah. I believe that. The emperor of China actually <laughs> <laughs> had the workers. Um, they used to put the cloves in their mouth because he despised bad oh, breath wow. from his workers. Wow. <laughs> oh, see, see, wow. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Uh, my mother actually used to put a full clove on each piece of baklava. Oh, she did? Yeah. Well, that's very strong. Oh, that was very strong. Yeah, and if you accidentally bit into one, <laughs> you're in trouble. Stayed with you for a while. <laughs> so I melted a stick and a half of butter. Okay. Okay. Just use them it's anyway. It's a stress-free dessert. <laughs> yes, it is. Okay, so I'm going to butter, butter the bottom the pan. Okay. Yeah. So it's basically just a thin layer of butter in between each layer of phyllo. Right. Right? Okay. Right. Because that the butter is what's going to help the uh, phyllo dough brown. Okay. Okay. Very good. You want a nice golden color. And then you just okay. lay that on top of there. Right on here. And as you see, there's, you know, it's not the best piece of phyllo, but it's going to work. And then you put another light layer of butter. And the butter also helps to keep the layers separate, right? Right. 
when they cook, yes. Plus all that flavor. Who doesn't love butter? I know. Everything's good with I butter, know. Maria. <laughs> Absolutely. And you don't want to skimp on the butter no. with this recipe. So we're going to start with eight layers on the bottom. We're going to put eight layers of phyllo. Okay. Okay. So we've got a couple already. And you see For here, the base layer. For the base layer. Gotcha. And then we'll start layering our nuts. Now, do you always use walnuts or do you ever like... Uh, switch off to pistachios or almonds or any of the other Sometimes nuts? you can mix it up if you like. Sure. Okay. Yep. There's some parts of Greece that like to use pistachios. Sure. So it depends on the region as well. Yeah. I just love how relaxed this, this dish is with the layers of the phyllo. You don't have to worry about wrinkles or tears. Yes. It doesn't have to be Because it's all going to bake and get flaky anyway. Exactly. So where is your family from, Maria? Uh, my family is from Kalimnos. It's a very small island. Okay. And you're 100% Greek. I am. 100%. I'm Greek. an eighth Greek. Sure. <laughs> now, where is Kalimnos? Kalimnos is um, southeastern part of Greece. It's actually near Turkey. On a clear day, you can see Turkey. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, beautiful. My parents are actually um, they're there right living now. there right now. Yeah. yeah. They retired and moved down there. Who? They do. It's, it's a lot friends are there. more relaxing there. Yeah. They have. Um, we have a lot of relatives. Yeah. My um, dad has his sister, and my mom has her brother. So it's good. They miss us. That's the difficult part. They miss yeah. the grandchildren. Yeah, of course they do. But then you guys, that's perfect to make a trip to Greece, right? Exactly. <laughs> good excuse. All right. So you got your eight layers down. Okay. And now you're gonna do. So now we'll put. Um, you just spread it, a thin layer of nuts, maybe. Green. Now we're going to add a couple layers of phyllo, and then we're going to add another layer of nuts. My great grandmother Louise from Crete met my great grandfather from Italy on the boat to Ellis Island to become yeah. an American when they were 14 that's and great. 15 years old. Isn't wow, that a great story? Great. Yeah, that was that's so nice. Wonderful. And um, the rest is history. Yeah, I know. And then so here I am. <laughs> there you go. So the honey, you um, said is not as floral, the Greek honey, because it's from the dry land of Kalimos. Kalimos and, and Andros. Um, and Andros. They, have, they have really good honey, very similar to the one that... The honey is absolutely Andros. delicious. Yeah, I love it. I love it. And I can taste a sense of herbs in there. Little bit yeah, of that's what the, whatever is out there in the mountains, because, yeah. um, you know, we always... Um, my in-laws will go up in the mountains and they'll collect oregano, basil, oh, like different herbs. That are growing. They're growing wild. Oh, and that's, that's what the bees are feeding on. That's beautiful. So, so every time my in-laws or my parents come to visit, yeah. they'll ask, what would you guys like us to bring? And I always say, honey. <laughs> honey? Or olive oil? oil. <laughs> oh, I forgot to bring my jar today. <laughs> Oh, that so smells see, delicious. It's bubbly and there's a foam that's created. And okay. That's pretty much how you know that it's done. Okay. And this has been going for about 10 minutes, right? It's been about 10 minutes. Okay. Yeah, either the syrup has to be hot or the baklava. You can't have, have both, both of them hot. One has to be cold or room temperature and the other one will be hot. Okay. And we do that so that the phyllo dough does not get soggy. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. So, yes. nice. Hello. so now we're going I to I love put... walnuts. I'm so excited yeah. that you're making it with the walnuts. Walnuts, the phyllo dough, yeah. cinnamon flavor. Yeah. Um, and then the syrup. It's a beautiful combination. It's just a heavenly dessert. In it my is. Eye. No wonder <laughs> they call it the dessert of the gods. Yeah. <laughs> it's a preference thing. Like it what is a type of thing, nut right? you prefer. Um, you know, if you like more cinnamon. If you like it sweeter, yeah. um, some people will put sugar in the nut mixture. Okay. Um, another thing, some people put breadcrumbs in the nut mixture, I but saw I that feel that's a, a filler. Yeah. I wouldn't do that. And you don't really need that filler. No. Now, my sister-in-law is from Mitilini, and they use, um, they'll use pistachios mostly. Okay. In Northern it's been in the news, actually, a lot. It has? <laughs> yeah. Because of the... Uh, the um, Immigrants oh, yeah. that are fleeing. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah. 
A lot going on over there. A lot going on, yeah. A lot of in the, um, so you're tucking in the excess? The excess phyllo dough, yeah. Okay. Okay, so now we want to cut it. You want to cut it before you bake it, okay. or else your phyllo it's, will just fall apart. Yeah, it's too hard to cut, cut the crispy yeah. layers, right? Yeah. It'll just crumble into... Exactly. Okay. So we're going to cut it in quarters. Okay. And then, let's see, we'll do thirds going down. And then... Just go on a diagonal, right? Just go on a diagonal. You have your diamond shape. And what do you have the oven preheating at? Um, 350, 350 degrees. Okay. Do the kids know that you're making this? That they're gonna yeah, have some Dimitri. Dimitri is <laughs> very excited. I'm sure he is. <laughs> okay. And we're going to pop it in the oven for about 50 minutes. It depends on your oven. Okay. Until it's a nice golden brown color. Just so the lemon peel and the cinnamon stick. Okay, gotcha. And also, you know, I'm going to take it out of the pot. That way it'll cool a little bit faster. Sure. Look at the color of that. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, it is. It's like a And when you pour it on color. the hot baklava, you can hear the sizzle. It's, sizzle. it's, oh, it's a beautiful thing. It is a beautiful thing, Maria. <laughs> Must be the Greek in us. Yeah. <laughs> Maria, that looks so beautiful. Okay, so now we're going to add the syrup. Okay. Oh, listen to you that. hear that? Yes, that's a wonderful sound. Sizzling. So there's no method to pouring? No, just try to get it everywhere. Okay. Look at that. There you go. And then you're going to let it sit. Okay. For, um, I'd say two to three hours. Okay. To let it um, really, really absorb, soak in the right? syrup. Yeah. And then the bottom layers are what's going to be a little bit syrupy and yes, yummy. Yes, yes, yes. And the and top will be really delicious. crispy, hopefully flaky. The top will be crispy. Oh. Yeah. I cannot That's wait it. to have a bite of that. That's, That's beautiful. Your <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, Michelle. Okay. So you want to run your knife through it again. Okay. okay. This is after it's sat this for a couple hours. This is after it's sat for two to three hours. Okay. Okay. And you don't want to cover it with okay. plastic. Okay. If you do want to put a cover on it, just put a towel. Okay. Okay. A kitchen towel over it. Because you don't want the moisture it's gonna to make it soggy. It's going to get soggy. soggy. Yeah, okay. The will get soggy. Sure. That looks absolutely beautiful. It does, and it smells so good. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, the first piece is always the most that, difficult. Yeah, that's going to be never the hardest, looks right. right? Oh, but that looks really okay. beautiful. Look at that. Oh, go. my goodness. Okay. And there you go. You have your baklava. This is maybe one of my... This might be my favorite show, Maria. <laughs> <laughs> Too, though. I can smell, smell the syrup and, and the honey. Baked phyllo. That's great. That is so beautiful. That's a masterpiece. <laughs> you did such a great job. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. All right, now it's time Let's to have a bite. It. <laughs> That's a tough job. We have to have oh, a yeah, bite, yeah, Maria. This is the toughest <laughs> part of it all. Mm. Delicious. Oh my goodness. If we only had some Greek coffee, how perfect would that be? Oh yeah, <laughs> who do we call? <laughs> that is so amazing. It's perfect for a party. Look at all the pieces. Yeah, and it feeds a lot of people. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's picture perfect. Thank you so much for watching. You can find this recipe at thetravelingepicurean.com. Maria, thank you so much. Thank you, Michelle. That was very fun. I'm so glad that all my bags finally did out. it. <laughs> Have a great weekend. We'll see you next week. Yes, us. Yes, us.